morning. I'm uh, <clears throat> currently in a hotel in Deadwood, South Dakota. It's about six o'clock in the morning local time. I figured I should post the uh, next set of photos from Glendalock or Dublin. Just a quick uh, review of what happened. Dublin turned into a tender port, which we were assured several times that there was only one tender port. We ended up having three, but you know, it was still good. Um, we got a ship's tour to Glendalock, which I guess means the Valley of the Two Lakes. It was started by St. Kevin at around 450 in the fifth century. Um, it's really a beautiful place. We got there, we only had about an hour, and um, I decided I wanted to start from the farthest point, so it was, it was over a mile walk to the lake. So we hustled to the lake on the path, and then got distracted by waterfalls and everything at the lake. So by the time we realized what time it was, we just had enough time to go straight back to the bus. So I just took a couple pictures of the, the monastic settlement um, from the path. All you can really see from there is the tower where they used to hide from the Vikings. Uh, that was pretty cool. The door is 12 foot up above the ground. They keep a ladder there and <clears throat> when the Vikings or anyone came, they would climb up the ladder into the door, into the tower and pull the ladder up and they would stay safe. But um, it was beautiful English countryside. We tendered into a place called Dunleary, which if you saw how it was spelled, you would think it was called Dunlahary. But it's done, Larry, and uh, hope you like the pictures. Here you go. Hear that? There's the big lake, the upper lake. You'll see more of that here in a minute. 